working with nickel smith. It's usually drawing with nickel smith, but today I was thinking of painting instead. So I'm going to be painting some water with, and trees. And I'm going to use a lots of brushes. Fuzzy brushes and stuff. So I got this from Mrs. Betterman, I think, and that my grandma sent the, the video to her. And thanks for sending the art supplies to um, me, Mr. Mrs. Betterman. People also say that they can't paint. Well, I want to dispel that myth and show you how you can paint and how you can enjoy this with someone you care about. So let's turn I can't into I can't believe I painted that. Ready? Let's go on that adventure. So I'll start and get started. So now I have my white and light blue. So now you just get that blue and and white mixed in with the water and then you just scrape it against the, the top. With my three green paints that I have right now, we're going to make the grass and the, the background trees. So now we're going to put the three greens we have and put it on our paper plate. It's actually now easier with these three paints right now to put them in line instead of petals so it's easier for this brush to, to, to get it. First you actually have to dip your brush in a little bit of water and then put it in the green what I already did and then put it in the medium green just a little bit too and then you just so now that we got our brush dipped in the dark green a little you just lightly now tap into the this you you don't have to use dark green you can also use dark blue if you want to if you have something sharp like a toothpick you can now put some little things like some some branches with it so now get your medium blue and squeeze a little just a little bit into into your white and light blue you are ready to start the water the the river so you get some of that and then you just swoosh it across Now you can now get some some of your light um brown, dark brown, and even a little bit of orange if you want, and put and go in and mix those together. Just lightly put it over this. Then you need your toothpick again and then put it and then make a little way for your path it works much more better when it's wet you get your big brush again and tap it in the green and then you can then lightly touch it into the into the soil this is my brother ian like I said, he's going to have a cooking show. What do you want your show to be called, Ian? The yeah. Crazy Show. We tap it in our light, not in our medium blue a little yeah. bit. And then we put it in the grass for the bluebells. Put 
it in grass to, to make the bluebells have a little bit of white in them. Dip your brush into the dark brown and then start making some like trees. make little branches onto the tree with it. Then you grab your this spray brush again and you dip it in a, a little bit of light green and some medium green. And then you just you put some of it over the the trees for the tree, um, the tree leaves. Dip your, um, your brush in light brown or dark brown. Then you just put two straight lines down and then another line that's horizontal to make a bench. This should be a finished video now. Bye! Thank you for drawing with Nickel Smith. So thank you, Mrs. Spetterman, for um, getting me all this art supplies and teaching me how to, to paint this. So this is my finished painting that I made of a little like pathway and in a river. So leave and comment and stuff below. And thank you for drawing with Nicholas Smith. So Why are you filming? Stop the video. Stop the video. Stop the video. Actually stop. No, stop. Yeah.